Today we will talk about the Apostle Thomas Didymus. Thomas was one of the twelve apostles of Jesus. His name, Thomas, which in Aramaic is Talma, and in Greek is Thomas, signifies twin. Additionally, his subsequent name, Didymus, also signifies twin. Thomas was a Hebrew and he fished as a trade. Not much has been aware of the life of Thomas, just the little that the Gospels educate us regarding him. It is referenced in the four Gospels, in the accompanying statements, Matthew chapter 10, verse 3, Mark chapter 3, verse 18, Luke chapter 6, verse 15, and John chapter 11, verse 16. Then again, he is likewise referenced in the Acts of the Apostles soon after Philip, in Acts chapter 1, verse 13. Thomas came to be along with the Lord Jesus now and again, for example, when Jesus was going to Jerusalem where, as per what had been announced, he would be tortured and killed. At that point the disciples dreaded enormously for the events that could occur, so they told the Lord Jesus the accompanying words. Rabbi, lately the Jews sought to stone you, and are you going there again? Then, at that point, Thomas mediated supporting the Lord, and answered to the other disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. This can be found in John chapter 11, verses 1 to 16. Another moment in which Thomas was present was during the Last Supper. Jesus lets his disciples know that they know the way to the place where he was going. Be that as it may, Thomas shouts out and asks him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Then Jesus responded to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This can be found in John chapter 14, verses 5 and 6. Before continuing, we would like to invite you to visit our official page, Origins 88. You can find the link in the description of this video or search for us directly in your browser. There you will find a large number of biblical and historical studies related to the Bible. We continue with the video. At the point when the Lord showed himself to the disciples after his ascension, Thomas was absent at the scene. It is thus that when they let him know that they had seen the Lord, he answered warily that, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Eight days after Thomas said that he might have a hard time believing that Jesus was the person who had showed himself to the other disciples, the Lord came to where he and the others were gathered. Furthermore, Thomas was astounded to realize that it was genuinely Jesus who was there with them. That is the moment in which the Lord says that those who did not see him and still believe in his great power and lordship, will be blessed. The Lord later showed himself to seven of his disciples, by the Sea of Tiberias. There, he inquired as to whether they had anything for them to eat and they answered, No, since they had not been able to catch anything the prior night. The following day, the Lord Jesus showed them his extraordinary power and authority over the sky and the earth, and that very day they got 153 big fish in all out. As per history, Thomas needed to go to evangelize Syria and afterward the city of Edessa. From that point, he ventured out to Mesopotamia to establish the first Christian people group in Babylon. He cruised for India from Mazyrus, where there was at that point a flourishing Jewish people group that before long became Christian.
It isn't known precisely how the Apostle Thomas died. A few works say that when he was back from India, he died pierced by a lance. And after eight days his disciples were again inside, and Thomas with them. Jesus came, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here, and look at my hands, and reach your hand here, and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. John 20 verses 26-29